So, the Ravager Axe has been around since vanilla at level 37, and is pretty well known, but folks sometimes ask why it's still used at level 60 or 70, or just how it works. This video should explain the mechanics of why it's so incredibly powerful, especially for classes with poor AoE damage like Hunters or Shamans. The Ravager is a two-handed axe that has a unique chance on hit ability with a 6.3% chance to proc on melee hits. When it procs, it forces your character to stay immobile and channeling an AoE ability for 9 seconds. This state makes you immune to knockback effects and inflicts AoE damage 3 times in 3 second intervals. The AoE has a radius of 8 yards and deals an average of 136 physical damage baseline, or 45 AoE damage per second, with an additional 1 damage added for every 4 attack power you have or 1 AoE damage per second for every 12 attack power you have, which is reduced by enemy armor values. Each instance of damage also uses your melee crit and hit chances, and can be missed, dodged, blocked, or parried by individual enemies caught in the AoE. Each hit with this AoE can proc itself, which refreshes the duration of the channel. In classic vanilla, these hits are also phantom strikes, and can proc most temporary weapon imbues and enchants, but in classic TBC, these hits are changed to be normal melee hits, and can also proc equipped based trinkets. Also, the 9 second long channel does not scale with haste, unlike most other channeled abilities. Further changes to the haste mechanic will be made in Wrath of the Lich King, and I will retest this at that point in time. You can get yourself a Ravager Axe from the Scarlet Monastery's Armory from Herod after grabbing the key from the library. That's all I got for this one, and remember, go crazy.